Hey friends and family, this is SP News Nugget, and today you guys, our story is coming out of PA, it's Bucks County, okay? We're going to be talking about a mother, her name is Samantha Jones. So you guys, I'm going to tell you what all happened, but first of all, let me get through my intro. Thank you guys for being subscribers to the channel. I always, always, always am going to let you know how much I appreciate you guys. And if you're not part of the friends and family, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell for notifications so when we upload a video, you get it also. Now down below, leave a comment. I can't stress how important leaving comments are because that's where we communicate. We talk from to each other, not only to me. And sometimes, you guys, I grab those comments and that's what we will talk about. And so, if, if you've done all of that, click that thumbs up you guys I like to have a like once in a while I I don't I don't beg for them but you know if you like the video please let me know that you like the video and if you don't like the video hey give me a, a thumbs down that way I know I did something and maybe I need to look at it and do it a little different so you guys let me get on with this story so you guys meet me on the other side. Here we go. Hey friends and family, this is SP News Nugget. Let's get right into this story. So today we're talking about this young lady. Her name is Samantha Jones, you guys. She's coming out of Buck County. She's a mother that will not spend no time behind bars. She is charged for allegedly killing her infant son by breast milk. You guys. Now, you, you're not going to believe what she did. But, um, here's what it says. Her breast milk had drugs in it. Now, I'm thinking the only way you can have drugs in your breast milk is if you pump your breast milk and you, and, you know, you intentionally put something in the breast milk and fed it to the baby. Or, which is a more common thing, you was on drugs and you continue to breastfeed your baby okay let me let me see what's going on here so she says okay she says they say in the report it says she was feeding her 11 week old baby breast milk with drugs in her system okay so the judge sentenced 31 year old Samantha Jones to three years of probation and 100 hours of community service after she had agreed to a plea bargain. So she done did a plea deal. Now, she had methadone, methamphetamines, and amphetamines in her system. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the story. It was 3 a.m. April 2018. She was tired. So she put the she put the baby back to bed. So the baby must have woke her up at 3 a.m. So the baby woke back up at 6 a.m. And she went and gave the baby you know, some milk, and she had already tried to transition this baby to a bottle. So she gave the baby a bottle to, you know, she's already been like three days and transitioned him from her breast milk, and he was now in the bottle. Now, this is what the mother and the dad said. Now, we don't know for that to be true, but, you know, some people can get away with a story like that. So 6 a.m., she gave him a bottle. He went back to sleep. The baby woke back up at 7.30. And um, 
She was so tired. She did not want to go downstairs, make a bottle. She just wanted the baby to go to sleep. So she gave the baby some breast milk. And he was content with that. So um, she when she woke up again, the baby, oh, the baby was not, you know, the baby was in distress. The father had already went to work. So she called 911 and they came and tried to help. And the baby was pronounced dead about an hour later. Now, she was charged with a lot of things. Um, they had to get the story right. And the sad thing about it was, you guys, you know, the, her husband, he's, he's supporting her. But the sad thing about it was, this woman had been dealing with um, trying to get off the drugs. But she continued to do them. Now, you guys, we're going to talk about it just for a brief moment. Because I gave you the whole story really quick. And I don't even know how I did that. Um, because I've got something else going on there. Okay, so, you guys, what do you think about that? The baby is gone. 11-week-old baby. And... The mother knew she was doing drugs. She she was doing drugs. And so she was just so tired because the baby getting up, baby getting up. The baby already had it in the system. I don't even know why they probably didn't even catch this in the baby system, you know, when she probably had the baby. I'm just saying for the baby to be addicted to it. And that's probably why the baby was crying. It needed that, you know, and it took so long. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, that was their story. That was the parents' story that the mama was getting off of the drugs. And so uh, she had already started transitioning the baby onto the bottom. But what do you guys think about that? Do you do you think that, that she had been doing that? I don't know. But I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Well... It don't have to be that she's telling the truth. Because we know people will lie. And sometimes the police department, it all depends on who you know, you know, and what you know, and, and what you will pay that you can get out of some stuff. If you ain't got no money, then you're gonna do the time. That's just that's just part of the system, and we know how that system works. But sometimes if what you're saying backs up, um, this, you know, with the evidence that what the uh, MA, the uh, medical, I mean, the ME, the medical examiner comes and say, you know, because I'm, they might have a way to know that this baby hadn't had a lot of these drugs in his system, you know, and all of a sudden he got, you know, one dose because I I think it stays in your system for like 24 hours or something. Three days, three days, three days. I'm pretty sure of it, like three days or something. And so it probably wasn't in the baby system three days. But I don't know how they can, you know, they got ways to figure things out. I think that sometimes the ME can't really know the time, the dates and things. They say that they can. I think they're given an estimated time, and a lot of it ain't right. But who who's there to, you know, argue that or debate it, you know? But I have to look at the situation like, who else? I mean, we're going to have to, you know, even though we don't know if what they tell us is true, we still sometimes got to go by what they say because that's all we have. It's like we don't know if India is there. We look at pictures, but that's all we have. So we go with the story that there is a country named India, and this is what it looks like, even though we've never been there or touched it. So um, that's why I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that maybe she may be telling the truth. And she had been trying to transition the baby onto the bottom. 
because she she knew that she was you know she had slipped up and uh, used again. And uh, I, I'm not badgering nobody. I know there's different types of addictions out there, and things happen, and then you don't look at you. You sometimes may think you know I can just go do this, and nobody will know, and. Then you're in a situation where the baby wants to eat, and you're like, okay, let me go in here to feed the baby, knowing what you just did. But I don't, you guys tell me what you think. Tell me down below in the comment. Okay, so that's all I have for today. You guys be good, be safe, and be nice to each other. Bye.